Okay, with weather like today, cold, dreary, damp, families are always looking for places that kids can burn off some of that extra energy. John Giz here, the owner of Pump Up the Fun, joins us. And you've got a, a location they can all hang out because, what is it, it's always sunny and... Always sunny and 70. <laughs> Yes. Inside Pump Up the Fun. That is perfect. And uh, talk a little bit about Pump Up the Fun because it's been around for a while. We have. We've been in business 16 years this past November. Uh, we're still doing birthday parties. We do pop in time where kids can come and play without parties. Uh huh. Um, we've expanded from just inflatables. Now we have trampolines and a soft play system. Oh, cool. All that's included with our party packages. Uh, extras, we have some arcade games uh -huh. and a gym mine sluice where kids can pan for uh, gemstones and fossils. And, and you all have thought of everything. Yeah, we're out of room, so we're completely packed of activities for kids of all ages to do. Uh -huh, and I know one fun activity, and we're looking at some of the indoor, uh, but Taylor and I tried jelly ball. There, there's a picture of some of the, the kids trying out jelly ball. That is a lot of fun, too. But this is not really jelly ball season right now, right? No, uh, spring and fall is the best time. Okay. Uh, although we keep it open year-round, uh -huh. um, the weather is a concern. So. Right, but you don't have to worry about the weather inside with all the inflatable. That's what we're looking at right here. Talk about, um, you mentioned there's drop-in times, but talk about if families are thinking about a birthday party, how do they schedule this and what type of things will come with that uh, when they wait? Yeah, it? so the book of parties is real easy. They can mm -hmm. either call us on our uh, main line or they can text me, okay. uh, which I'll leave the text number on the entry machine. Um, they can, uh, they pick the smallest party and then if more kids show up, we just automatically upgrade them so they don't have to guess how many kids are paying. Oh, that's good. Uh, and, uh, so that can be tough. Yeah, you never know how many showing up and uh, right. so that way they're not going to pay for more kids than actually come. Uh -huh. yeah. How far in advance would a family need to book if they want to have it specifically for a birthday party? Yeah, so they can book out as far as they like. If they okay. have a specific time and date they like. Probably the sooner the better. Sooner the better, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I've been to the parties there and you all have it sectioned off to where you can have several going at once. Yeah, we have uh, three parties out in our main area. Uh -huh. uh, they're semi-private. We have one private party room. It's an extra fee of $25. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if let's say it's a rainy day, snowy day, the kids are at home and you're like, what am I going to do with them? Talk about your drop-in availability. Yeah, yeah so uh, pop-in time, it's uh, the price is based on the kids' heights. Uh, so oh. if they're under 42 inches tall, they're $7. Okay. If they're 42 inches or taller, they're $10, and that's for unlimited time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And how much fun is this for you and the, the whole crew there, too? I mean, because you've got a job where you're making kids smile, they're they're laughing, they're getting some exercise. Yeah, the best part I like about it is, is when a kid's not been there and they open the door for the first time and see everything. Like, ah. Yeah, they just they go crazy. Yeah, so. <laughs> that aha moment. Right. That would be fun to see their expressions. Yeah, it makes it all worthwhile. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, anything else that you want to stress to parents? Like, I know that it's important to book ahead of time. Do they also need to have waivers signed ahead of time? Uh, like well, we, they sign the waivers at the front counter, mm -hmm. but the one thing I you know, like to tell the parents is we are regulated by the state of West Virginia as an amusement park, mm -hmm. so we have to go by the manufacturer hearth requirements, and 42 inches is the cutoff. Okay. So some things under 42 inches can get on, and some things 42 inches can't get on. Mm -hmm. so, but there's five activities for each hearth requirement. That is great. And remind everyone where you're located. Uh, we're at 591 Merritt's Creek Road in Huntington. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're familiar with Target, just turn left at the light at the Target Plaza and go mm -hmm. down over the hill. Yeah. And then uh, when it gets a little warmer outside, jelly ball is a lot of fun. Taylor and I mm -hmm. challenged each other doing that. And, uh, I think she won, so I may have. We may have to come back out for a rematch. Yeah, time for a rematch. Yes, <laughs> I think so. Hey, listen, great talking with you, Thanks and for uh, me. yeah. All right.